Okay, so I am doing this video because Clint bought something that I thought was a stupid idea and I'm having to concede it was brilliant. He came home with this, it is, it's a battery tester and he got it from a place called J Car. We think from memory it was about $12 and my initial impression was why do you need to test batteries? You know, you kind of know when they're not working, you take them out of the remote, you change them, you know when they're not working, right? Wrong. So, here's the thing. The other day, because we bought the kids um, one of these walkie talkies each for Christmas, which have been brilliant by the way, we got these from JCAR too. Um, they have been absolutely brilliant, but they take, they take three AAA batteries each. And Clint got this because he was, he was told, you know, you never know where the batteries are full or what or... Now, the thing is, when these run out of battery, instead of just opening it up, changing all three batteries, open it up, test each battery individually, and quite often, literally the last time I did it, one battery had run out, the other two were fine. A lot of things you will find, they will drain one battery first. And then you'll think the batteries have run out, like a remote that even takes two batteries or something. You change them both out automatically. Nah, not with this baby. <laughs> now batteries aren't cheap. We, t we tend to buy the, um, you know, because we've got kids, we go through batteries for stuff. We tend to buy the, the multi-packs and often you will find in these there is at least one battery that is actually a dud. Like we've got some of the number 8 batteries as well and we buy big, ba big packs of them from like Mitre 10 or places like that. Buy them from the supermarket or wherever, a packet of 4 and like $19 or you pay $20 for a packet of however many. This is like 40 so it's, it ends up, it, it does end up cheaper buying the multi-packs even if you get one or two duds in there. But it's good to know. Now, I'm just going to show you how this works. Actually, the kids generally use this. It's, it's their thing. These are all new ones. In theory, these should all be fine. Generally, they are good. So, this is what you got. Fairly self-explanatory. So you put the battery in. Two metal bits touching. There's any size battery and shing, good to go. Just like that. And we've got one here that is not good to go. Just a demo. Put it in and nothing, or it just hovers around the red bit. So, you know, you test everything, you test your remotes when you're about to change the battery. Okay, apparently there was two types, and Clint can't remember if this was the nine or the $12 type. But, I mean, it does all sorts of batteries. It's brilliant, it does the big thick ones and everything. So I would, I would highly recommend this because, I mean, as I say, batteries aren't cheap. And if you're changing something that takes like three or four batteries at a time, and three out of four might be fine, <laughs> you know, you don't just want to sort of chuck them all out. So if we did not have this, we probably would have gone through this whole packet of batteries already. So, you know, especially with these, these have been a great thing. Hit like, leave us a comment down below, hit subscribe, and we'll see you next time.